Welcome to GamesWise, it's me Wisecracker, and today, update 16 dropped, which means we have a new quest. You have to be at least rank 5, and you must have done the Stolen Dreams quest. We first go to a Tenno Relay, doesn't matter which one, I chose the one on Saturn. And we need to find somebody, and who do we need to find? We need to find... Cephalon Cimares or Cimares Miss C Cimares Whatever, it doesn't matter as long as you find him or her. It's a thing. I don't know what it is. So how do you get there? Well this is the concourse, the main room of the Tenno relays. So you go up the stairs, walk through the door, then go to your left, and to your right there is a elevator so we have to go up we have to go to the to the second level so we ascend upwards and now we must find the seven semaris and there it is there is the door everybody's waiting and I just walk through and here it is the big room you may explore the sanctuary for new knowledge. And uh, yeah, this is the thing. It keeps watching me. It's pretty scary, but come on. Look. Close in on me. It's very claustrophobic, knowledge but it doesn't matter. This is the guy we needed to find. So, guy, do you have a quest for us? <laughs> and there it is. Your dedication to Just need to click on it. Look at this, the new strange. It's the new quest to get the chroma. And yeah, it's it's smart if you click on accept and not just just let it go away. Yes, accept it. There we go. It's accepted. Will you bring my sentinels home so that I might once again focus on our grand project? So, we first need to begin the quest. So, we go to our codex, we go to the quests, we find the new strange quest, and we begin it. Push the button, please. And it has begun. What is Cephalon Cimaris like? I have heard so many wonderful things. So, what do we need to do? We need to find three Helios. And we need to find those on Phobos. So that is where we go in. There it is, the monolith. So, because they are imprisoned, the three Helios are imprisoned, we need to be careful because they are guardians and uh, yeah, there are these electricity things. But, the only thing we just need to do is hack this security and walk through the door and pick up our three poor Heliosos. Heliosos. And there they are! Poor little guys! We have found them, and Cephalon Samaras is very happy with us. So, now we need to collect ourselves some data. It's the same, it's the same mission still, it's just the second part. But this is still very basic, we just need to go to the room, open the door, 
hack the security, hack the panel, and then go home. So that is what we did. There it is. I am Overwatch, keeping everything safe. They hacked this uh, this panel, and there we go. We did it. We hacked the data. And now it's time to go home. Otis will perform analysis on the signature now. Oh, there's nothing here but... Seems Ordis is hearing voices again. Running diagnostics. No, Ordis. We heard it too. Tenno, that's the voice from the Arcane Codices. Cephalon Samaris is hiding something. Pay him another visit. Find out what he knows. Samaris has no reason to lie, Operator. Please, treat the Great Cephalon with respect. Well, I'm the Operator and I choose what to do. So, I, ju I just go back to Samaras and ask him what's up. Show me your dedication to the sanctuary. Searching for answers, Tedo. Knowledge must be earned. I have a task for you, small compared to the vast needs of sanctuary. Hunt for me, and in return I will tell you what that biological signature means. But before we continue with the mission, with the quest, we first need these two things. We need scanners and we need traps for the synthesis. So, we go to our gear, we equip the traps. And of course the scanners. And yeah, now it's time to continue. Let's battle! So, where do we need to go? We go back to our navigation. We go to Phobos, where there are three missions to choose from. And we need to synthesize three elite Arid Lancers. There is a sanctuary target here, Hunter. I sense it. Track it with the synthesis scanner. Don't let it escape. So, we need to scan. And when you do this, when you equip your scanner from your gear, you see these blue dots and these blue lights and when you follow them eventually you'll get to your target and there you see them and what we need to do is we need to scan these four points on his body and when that is done and it doesn't matter who does it as long as your team does it you get to synthesize him and there's a trap as you see and we got the last point here need to scan it and it has been done so we need another one and here is another one this is another mission of course not the same one just need to scan the four points So, now we got two Arid Elite Arid Lancers synthesized. We need the last one, so let's do another mission. And this time I brought my Loki Prime, so I can be invincible. And I can just do it on my lonesome. 
and as you can see the right button first and then with the left button you scan and BAM it has been done we got three elite errant Lancers and he's very impressed with me he loves me he can't get enough of me so we did it so what do we do now well, we need to go back to our new best friend so we go back to Saturn because I like that planet and there he is so we click on the conversation sentence There you have it! We got our first part of the Chroma and we did it all for a blueprint part. So we need to go to our foundry and we need to build our first piece of the Chroma, the Chroma Chassis. And after that we've done that, we can do the second part of this quest. So this was only the first part. And remember, for the Chroma Chassis, you need a oh, goddamn okay. Frost Chassis. So, remember that, because I did. I hope you enjoyed it. Check me out in the second part, and I'll see you then. Adios. Hell's Chamber and the Scattered Justice mod, we get a multi-shot of 320%, and with the basis pellet count of the hack of 7, this will make a pellet count of 29.4. That's a lot of poquito bolitos.